everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we are talking about the scenarios with azure data factory for the demonstration we are going to discuss a scenario wherein we would like to copy the files recursively from source location which is a source storage account to a destination location which is another storage account just to show you and just to share the context here is my storage account where i have number of files created or available inside this container and you can see that within this container i have folder called new and within this new folder i have some more files so what i want to do is i would like to copy all the files from this root location as well as from this in from the folder from the from this folder so to perform this activity what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the i'm going to use the azure data factory instance this is the instance which is which is available on my screen right now to launch the studio i can click here on this icon and that will launch the studio into a new tab like this i've already opened that now what i want to do is i would like to perform the copy activity which is a recursive code copy activity and for that i'm going to create for that i'm going to create a new pipeline so let's click on this author tab that will show the list of resources already configured with your data factory instance so as of now there are no pipelines so i'll be creating new pipeline by clicking on this option add new or new pipeline that will launch the canvas and the activities board on the screen now as we are talking about the copy activities so i need to have the activity which is related to copy so in the move and transform section you can find the copy data activities which you can use for the job so first of all you have to set up this copy activities to set up the copy activities it requires settings like source and sync to be specified source you can specify it by clicking on the source tab here you can specify the source as in data set because this source and destination both of them are looking for a data set which it needs to target to source location and destination location now to set the data so it i can use the existing data set which which are already available to the pipeline or you can create a new data set by clicking on this new option let's say i have created a new data set by clicking on this option so i'll need to choose azure blob storage and then from here i'm going to specify the file type if i'm willing to copy only specific file types such as csv excel json then i can choose the specific file type but if you have a requirement to copy any file available within that source location then you can you can go for a binary location in our demonstration we are just talking about copying a csv file recursively so i'll be using this csv option next you have to give it a name to your desk uh, data set so i'm going to call it as a source data set so that's the name of the data set then you have to provide the link service so link type of service tells us uh, tells your data set that this is where the storage account is and this is and to connect the data uh, to this storage account i'll be using this authentication method so where is your source or ta target data type and how it is supposed to connect to that source and target location that is defined inside the link service as we have already created this many many times i am not going to repeat and create again so my link service is selected now to browse the containers available within this storage account on the uh, within this storage account which is defined in the link service i can click on the browse option that will launch or open all the containers available in the storage account so i'm going to select input container and here it, it will basically preview all the folders or the subfolders and files available within this container so let's select all that will select all the files which are available now select ok so our source file is ready source configuration is ready so next we have to specify the sync or the destination let's select sync as in the existing selection which is already been created uh, 
no we have to create another story account same type so let me just create a same type as in csv select this link services and destination and then i'll be using this output folder select ok click ok so my sync is also completed here in this case now we have sync and destination or sync and source both of them are created let's validate the pipeline as expected the pipeline says that you cannot use this file path as a data set in case if you are expected to copy or work on multiple files right in case if you would like to work on multiple files what you need to do is you need to use either prefix option or this wildcard option so i'm going to use wildcard option for an example csv right you can see that by default it has an option to select recursively right it was it should select all the files recursively so let's see that if it has going to be selected the files recursively sync option i have not selected anything even the file extension is set to txt which is a default type that is it let me just validate again this time the validation is completed what i'm going to do is i'm going to debug this pipeline and see the behavior how it runs whether it is going to copy all my files which is of type csv and the files which are there inside the directory new which is also a type csv so let's do that let's run the pipeline instance as in debug mode so in the output section you can see the instance or the run id of your pipeline which you have just now triggered see the pipeline is completed now to see the details of the pipeline what you can do is you can click on this lens icon and that will show the number of file it has actioned on it for example it says that seven files are copied so let's say that let's see that if we have the seven files are actually copied or not at the destination location so let's verify that you can see that we have five these five number of these files and then we have this new folder right new folders which are being which is created and it is basically preserving the exact same structure what we had in the source location and it's preserving the same structure at the destination location as well right absolutely fine now what if we do not want to preserve the structure what do you want to do so let's say if you do not want to preserve this structure so you can come to its destination and then you can say that flatten this hierarchy so that will basically flatten the hierarchy now the problem with the flatten hierarchy we might have in our case is because we have this color these two files available as well as the same files like day these two file color and day available inside the new file new folder as well as same files are available here as well right so what is going to happen is it may as we are talking about move these inner level file to the root location so what will happen is it may just it just overwrite the file so let's do that and if it works or it gives an error or by default it overwrites so activity is completed let's have a look at that but you won't see the difference so let's first of all let me just clean up that and rerun again because you would never know that what actions are basically performed okay so what it has done is in this case it has basically created a flattened structure right a flat and now as it is going to create a flattened structure what is going to happen is it is it has created all the files with this prefix data and this uid and remains the same extension it has created a file every time so even though if i am going to run again hopefully it will create another set of same files with the different names because we are asking to flatten the structure so activity is completed let's refresh that you can see that five more files are created with the different guid so with this flatten structure option basically it is creating a file with the different names right 
So we have to, so in this demonstration, we have seen two options: copying a file, which is there at the root location, as well as at the uh, folder or folder inside the folder, and then preserving the hierarchy of that folder at the destination location. We have also seen an example of how do we uh, set up a flattened structure, but in the case of flattened structure, it's creating the file name as a random file name, and every time you copy, it creates a duplicate file, right? So that's it in this demonstration. I hope you have found this useful. If it is, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching it. See you in the next video.